In this video, we will learn how to create a zoom effect. So this is a slide on which I have a map and when I click on this slide during my presentation, this circle will be drawn first and then the area inside the circle will be zoomed. So let's see a preview. So I click on this and a circle is drawn and the inside area is zoom. If this circle is not looking a true circle on the screen, this is because of a problem in my screen capture software. I noticed this uh, thing, but this is a true circle. And when you follow the procedure, which I am going to show you in this video, you will get a true circle. So if you can ignore this effect, so then we can see how we can create this powerful effect in our PowerPoint presentation. The first step to make this zoom animation is to have an image and I have inserted a map image in my slide. So I have only one slide. So the first step is to duplicate the slide. So now I have two slides. Make sure that you are in the second slide and now we have to insert a shape. Insert shape and we click on this oval shape. So click on that and in order to draw a circle we have to press and hold the shift key. So press and hold the shift key and start drawing a circle. This is the circle now we want to put this circle around this Tokyo area. So we just put it here and now in shape fill area we don't want any fill. So no fill and in shape outline area just click on that. We want two things. First the color of the circle which uh, we can have any color so I choose black color and the second thing we want in this area is the weight of the circle so you can have any weight so I would prefer the maximum six point the next thing we want is we want to crop this image so click on the image format tab in the crop there is a little arrow under the crop click on that arrow and then click on this crop to shape and then again select this oval shape Click on that. Now since our circle is black, when we will be cropping this image, this circle will not be visible because the background is also black. So click on this background, right click and format background and in this color area, select white color so that our circle could be visible. Click on the shape again and format and crop. So last time we click crop to shape. And this time we have to set the aspect ratio so that this is not looking like an ellipse. It should look like a circle. So for that, we want the aspect ratio to be one is to one. Click on that and now we have a circle. The next thing is we want this circle to be of the same size as this black circle. And this is the most critical step because if those these two circle uh, do not match properly, so then the text will not be aligned. So if you are using this animation where the background image has some text, then you should be careful about this step. So see how we go here. You click and hold the shift key and you bring your cursor to these handles at the corner. Make sure that you never release the shift key. So we have to align this circle inside the black circle without releasing the shift key and without moving this image. You see these four arrows? Don't use this to uh, move the image. Just we have to somehow put this circle. So I'm dragging this and when you see your own circle, you start another corner. Now we are nearly there and see how perfect we are able to align this. And now our circle is perfectly aligned. The next thing is you select both of these. So click outside and select both of them and press Ctrl X to cut. Click on the first slide and Ctrl V to paste. You will see that these two are perfectly aligned because these letters of the word Japan, they are perfectly aligned. So it means that our we are successful. Now delete this second slide. Right click and delete slide. We don't need this. Now we have to apply animation. So there are two things. One is the circle. The second thing is the cropped image. So you just click on the circle first. Go to animations and apply the wheel animation. And now the circle will be drawn like this. Now we want to apply the animation on both circle and the cropped image because when they will be zooming they should zoom together so this is the first animation you can see on the right hand side in the animation pane this is your first animation now you select both circles so first click on the line of the circle to select press control click inside to select the image now you have selected both of them now we will not use the animation area instead we will use this add animation 
click on add animation and apply grow shrink now the grow shrink animation has been applied to circle and the image both as you can see there are two items and on the right hand side you see that there are two things one represent the circle and the other is the cropped picture and now everything is fine so we can see in a zoom way so the only thing is that now we have to click for the first effect and then click to zoom so if you want to avoid these two clicks so what you can do is you can set it here so the first animation is on click if you select first if this is on click the second is also on click so instead of on click we say after the previous so now both of these because they are animated together so now they both will start after the first one and you can see here that the first will end here at this point when this green ends and then these two will start and now you have to click only once for the first one check it again and now i am just clicking once so this is here and now it will zoom so this is how you can create this effect and now if you want to create a mp4 file because you might want to have some of these slides and you want to put these slides in your video file if you are having a video course for example so how to do that very simple just go to file save as browse where you want to save let us we save on the desktop and we save with the name test the only thing you have to do is instead of this pptx format go here and select the mp4 format and you are done just press save and at the bottom you will see here that this is now saving as mp4 and you will see creating video test.mp4 so a video will be created for you so how cool is that you make few of these animation into your video course or wherever you want then you create a video and then put in your other videos so it's a fantastic thing powerpoint has provided to us to create videos directly from animations